15 minutes could save you hundreds on car insurance. Welcome back here to the What's Cooking program, the nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. Michael Horn and Paul Stern. Chef, it's a, we got a chef coming up here, Paul Stern, from uh, one of the favorite spots we love to travel, and that's Hawaii. Uh, no doubt about it. Whenever you're looking for a great place to travel, Hawaii is the place that I think always uh, kind of comes to the forefront. And to uh, talk about traveling to Hawaii, you say the Big Island is one of those places that's one of the greatest places to visit. Yeah, the, the, a lot of people, you know, certain islands, uh, Oahu and uh, uh, all these, uh, all the places in Hawaii, the people say the Big Island sometimes is the one that's the most forgotten and the one that everybody should make. And at the Manalani Bay Hotel, Executive Chef Sandy Toisan is with us. Uh, Chef Sandy, welcome to the broadcast. Good morning. Aloha from paradise. Uh, you are in paradise. Let me tell you this. There's, <laughs> uh, you know, you can drink tequila, whatever you want in Hawaii. <laughs> Am I saying the name of the hotel right? Is it the Moanalani Bay Hotel? Is that correct? Manalani Bay Hotel and Bungalows. That's correct. Manalani. Okay. Manalani Bay Hotel and Bungalows. Correct. Uh, yeah. How? Give us some background, Chef, on the hotel. How long has it been there? And it is on the Big Island, right? It is on the Big Island. It's on the uh, Kohala Coast, or some people call it the Gold Coast. Uh, that's that's uh, <coughs> West Hawaii, excuse me. And um, it's been around for about 27 years, 28 years. Uh, it's a great, great hotel. Um, <clears throat> very, very open air. And, uh, you know, it, it, I think it, it depicts uh, the big, big Hawaii, the island itself. It's just a beautiful, beautiful hotel. Okay, so let's talk about it. You say it's a hotel and bungalow. So I'm taking it there's regular hotel rooms. What about the bungalows? Uh, the bungalows are amazing. We have six bungalows. Um, they're adjacent to the hotel, right on the beachfront there. Um, they're, they're, you know, they're about three rooms each. They've got their own pool, uh, their own uh, jacuzzi. It's an amazing, amazing uh, uh, place. We have lots of uh, uh, people coming in you know, to, to stay there also. Uh, the hotel itself has 330 rooms, uh, lots of suites also. And it's all, it's all beachfront. It's amazing stuff. And, and, and Chef uh, Sandy Twasson, how long have you been with the uh, Manalani Bay Hotel and Bungalows? Well, I, I'm actually coming up on my one-year anniversary in October. Wow. So I've only been here for a year. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an East Coast boy. I'm a Jersey kid. So you're from New Jersey. Where were you in Jersey? <laughs> um, well, I grew up in North Jersey in Bergen County, but uh, I worked for 20 years in New York City, you know, with the, uh, the French mafia, as we like to say, the French chefs. And... Uh, <laughs> And a bunch of, uh, and, you know, Four Seasons Hotel. And, and so, yeah, I came out here. I mean, I was in the Caribbean for a couple of years, and I came out here last October. And it's just a fabulous, fabulous time out here. So the Manalani Bay Hotel and Bungalows is a Four Seasons Resort then, correct? No, it's not. No, oh. no. No, I, I, left, I left the Four Seasons, so now I'm with Manalani. Ah. But uh, it, uh, there is a Four Seasons here on, uh, on the Big Island, but no, we are. We, we are. don't mention oh, them. Can Let's they not so talk <laughs> about them. Come on. Ma Manalani yes. picked one off, so to yeah. say. Yes, yeah, Chef. Come on. They got you. So what's it like? Okay, you're in the hustle and bustle. You were born and raised in New Jersey. You're cutting uh, many years of your teeth in New York and that beautiful restaurant town there. But it's a, come on, as a pressure cooker, and all of a sudden you're on the Big Island, you're in Hawaii at this uh, uh, Manalani Bay Hotel and bungalows. And so in the last year, you what have you done personally? I'm sure slowed down, but what have you done to change what was the, coming out of the, uh, the food line there at the hotel? Well, you know, that, 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 that's a good question. And the point is, you know, yeah, New York is a pressure cooker, and it's great. I, you know, I still love it. It's still my, one of my favorite towns, obviously. Um, coming out here was definitely uh, a change of pace. I brought my wife and my daughter out here. And, uh, you know, the food, the food was good when I came out here. But, you know, they brought me in and, and my uh, executive sous chef who I brought from New York also, James Ortiaga. And uh, we changed the menu a bit. We're still using very much all local products. We want to. We're, we're about 80, 85 percent uh, local products that we're using. But our style is a lot more, um, what can I say, modern American, you know, with some Euro European influences, of course, because that's kind of like our background. But it's not, not to say there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, the, the, a lot of the cuisine out here is great, the Pacific Rim. But we're, we're going in a little bit different direction. But it, it's just a great experience. And the product out here is amazing. How many restaurants you got at the property at the Manalani Bay Hotel? We got three restaurants. We got the Canoe House, which is a, you know, probably the most famous restaurant. Uh, we got the Ocean Bar and Grill, a more casual seaside restaurant, and we have the Bay Terraces, where we have our 
uh, breakfast buffets, and we have a lot of uh, banquet parties there also. So what goes on in the canoe house? What's on the menu? Give us a couple of sample items. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, we're actually going to change the menu oh. soon, but no worries. You know, we have a, uh, a moi. If you know, mo- moi is, is the local fish out here, and we glaze it with a little bit of a soy and tamari, and we match it with foie gras. Um, yeah. it's, it's really a cool combination. Uh, you know, and like I said, we try to use all local products that we can also. You know, we use a uh, mahi-mahi. We do it with a, a little Napa cabbage and lemongrass sauce. Um, we have a um, well, the fresh Kona prawns, a sh- Kona shrimp out here. We do that with a coconut polenta and spiced popcorn. Uh, we have uh, fabulous uh, beets from the, uh, from the upcountry. So we do a beet ravioli with organic white honey. Uh, from the island also. So What's our, the up our, country? Our Where's the up country? <laughs> well, up country actually, you know, like you know, the the resort is is uh, is down on the beach, of course. I live about half hour away in a town called Waimea, um, and it, it's up in the mountain, about 2,600 feet. But that's where, where a lot of the farms are. Oh, gotcha. So it's good. Is there a website we can go check this out? Because we want to come and visit you. This just sounds like fun. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, just check on our website. It's Manalani, M A U N A. L-A-N-I dot com. Manalani dot com. And uh, this is the Manalani Bay Hotel and Bungalows. And the executive chef there is changing menus and getting things going there. So the Ocean Grill, you've changed already. You got that taken care of? We got that going. We got some fun stuff in there. You know, we got our fish tacos. We got uh, a Kahlua pork sandwich, which is a a big thing out here, but we match it up with some uh, home, homemade kimchi. So we have some lots, lots of fun food there. We love you, Executive Chef Sandy Tosani. You are the man from Hawaii. You're going to be with us as our official reporter now. Thanks for being with us. We continue straight ahead. The What's Cooking show on CRN. Are you struggling?